In this video, I'm going to show you step by step on how I make my sugar cut out cookies. Welcome to Sweet and Myra. This can see here with Sweet and Myra. Sweet and Myra is where we provide our clients with custom made cakes and desserts from scratch. If you're new here, welcome and consider subscribing to my channel. And do not forget to turn on the notification button so that you know when I put out any new content. I will start by creaming my butter and sugar together, say for about four to five minutes. Make sure that your butter is at room temperature. And if you want to know how to determine a room temperature butter, make sure to check my video on the perfect vanilla cake. Now you want to scrape down. Now I'll be adding all of my wet ingredients and all I have for my wet ingredients are the egg, almond extract and vanilla extract. And I'll beat the weight until disappeared into the mixture. Be sure to check for all the ingredients that I use for this recipe down in the description box below. Now I am adding all of my dry ingredients and what I have for the dry ingredients are the flour, the baking powder and the salt. So I'm adding the dry ingredients bit by bit to avoid the dry ingredients from splashing all over the place and also to properly combine. So give all of the ingredients a quick mix and make sure not to beat for too long. Now you want to scrape down. You want to use your spatula to put all of the dough together and then wrap up with a clean wrap and toss into the refrigerator.
I usually keep my dough overnight into the refrigerator, but um, if you don't have such um, an amount of time on you to put overnight, you can leave your dough at least for two hours into the refrigerator before cutting out. Okay, here I'm using the dough slicker mat and it comes with several rulers to help measure out the height of your dough. So, uh, as you can see, I'm not using extra, no extra flour or anything under, underneath my dough. It's just the dough and the slicker mat because it prevents, the, the slicker mat prevents the dough from sticking. So, it makes my uh, cut out cookies so easy um, make sure to check the description box below I will list out where I bought, the, bought it If you're learning something here, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. I'm also using silicone mat to bake my cookies. This is to prevent your cookies from burning. Now this brings me to the end of the video and I'll see y'all on the other side. Thanks and God bless.